Welcome to another video. I have a very beautiful question here because it involves exponentiation and tetration. Now, why did I choose to solve this problem? It's because, just as some of you know, most of you would know, my most watched video was a tetration video, and I guess some of you even became aware of this channel through that video. But occasionally, I would get comments, I'll get notifications of comments that say that what I did was incorrect. Because the way you evaluate a, a stack of numbers, according to them, was not the way I was supposed to um, evaluate. And let me explain that. So they would say when I did 10 raised to power 10 raised to power 10, it was supposed to be 10 raised to power 10 raised to power 10. So this is what they said I should have done. 10 raised to power 10, then raised to the 10th power. But this is incorrect. And if you use this strategy to solve this problem, you are going to be wrong. You can't get the answer right. Okay? In fact, this problem was not written this way. It was written as a stack of 16s. It was like this. So this problem is actually from an um, MIT Harvard math tournament. Okay, that's where this one came from. But I decided to write it this way to go back and correct all the notions that I've seen people write about. Okay, let's get into the video. So what would I do if I saw a problem like this. Well, I'm going to make sure that because I don't know how to work with tetration, we only work with the right, right? So I'm going to change this into what I just erased, which is going to be that 2 to the 2 to the x is equal to 16 to the 16 to the 16. However, whenever you do tetration, you cannot just start doing stuff from the bottom. Otherwise, it would be a lot easier. Okay, so what we do is we know that 16 can actually be rewritten as 2 to the 4th power. So I'm going to say that 2 to the 2 to the x is the same thing as 2 to the 4th power raised to 16 to the 16. See, I just rewrote the bottom. But according to the laws of exponents that I know, Whenever you have this kind of exponentiation, you can multiply this 4 by this 16. See, I haven't touched the left-hand side because I'm trying to make the left-hand side look like the right-hand side. So this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have 2 to the 2 to the x will be equal to, this is now going to be 2 to the 4 times, times 16 to the 16. Do you see how easy this has become? Because now the two bases are the same and they're both greater than one, then it means that the exponents also will be the same. So I can transform this into 2 to the x is equal to 4 times 16 to the 16. And this is very easy to solve, right? So all I have to do is write the right-hand side in terms of 2, right? That's it. I just have to say this 4 can be written as 2 squared, and I just have to say this 16 can be written as 2 to the 4th raised to power 16. Apply the laws of exponents, I'm going to get 2 to the 2nd multiplied by 2 to the, apply that law, 4 times 16 is going to be 64. Okay, so here I have 2 to the x equals 2 to the, you add the exponent, it's going to be 66. And that tells you that x is equal to 66. That is the way you answer this one. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.